don't really uh, know, no, I'll be honest. Um. Um. Considering the impact that uranium has had in the last half century, public knowledge of it is sparse. During the 1950s, uranium seemed the answer to all mankind's dreams. It wasn't always this way, and wouldn't remain so for long. From atomic dream to radioactive nightmare in less than 30 years, what happened to change uranium's reputation so drastically? And what are the feelings today towards this mysterious and often misunderstood element? This film aims to find out. Although the perceived threat of nuclear attack was always present during the 1950s, atomic power was still seen as the answer to all future energy concerns. And as such, uranium was a new wonder element of the atomic age. However, it was not to last. Oil, coal and gas remained cheap and plentiful, while the cost of constructing nuclear power plants became more expensive. It seemed like there was only one use for uranium. Weapons. With the proliferation of atomic weapons on both sides of the Iron Curtain and the fear of nuclear war, uranium's public image took a downward turn. It would remain low until the 1973 oil crisis took hold, and energy companies started to look again to nuclear power. Research into atomic power was given a boost by governments worldwide. By the time the second energy crisis hit in January 1979, all was looking good for uranium. Then, in March of 79, the Three Mile Iron Lacks in Harringsburg, Pennsylvania happened, which, although caused no proven loss of life, initiated a new decline in the popularity of uranium and nuclear power. Throughout the 1980s, fossil fuel prices continued to fall. As a result, uranium fell further in public favour. The final blow came in 1986 with the Chernobyl disaster in the Soviet state of Ukraine. The disaster was a worldwide issue, sparking widespread changes in international regulations for nuclear power. Construction of nuclear power plants almost completely stopped during the 1990s. The next brush uranium had with the media was after the 1991 Gulf War as depleted uranium, or DU. DU is created from spent reactor fuel and is very weakly radioactive. It was first developed for use in ammunition in the mid-1970s, but it was not until 1991 that the public became aware of its use. After the war, DU was blamed for the Gulf War syndrome and led to a further decline in uranium's public image. Until the 21st century, when fossil fuel prices began to increase as worldwide reserves started to run out. This, coupled with the fear of global warming caused by fossil fuel usage, brought about renewed interest in nuclear power. Worldwide, more and more nations have planned the construction of atomic power plants. France has pioneered this by using 80% nuclear power, and Japan with 39%. With the continued planning of new nuclear power stations to meet the world's future energy demands, and with fossil fuels rapidly in decline, Uranium looks once again to be the hope for mankind's future. Whether that is the case, only the future will tell.